Hey guys, welcome back to the Oilers Fanatic. In a recent update with Elliot Friedman of Sportsnet, he mentioned that the Oilers are targeting three specific areas when it comes to the trade deadline. Goaltending, third line center, and left shot D. Today I'm going to go over the three trades I would make to address those three areas of need, and I'm also going to do an updated version of this as we approach the trade deadline and have more information on who exactly is available. I'll also continue to do my trade proposal series looking at multiple different options that the Oilers could pursue. These are the three trades I would make if I was Ken Holland. Let's start at third line center. My selection is Derek Brassard of the Philadelphia Flyers. He is a left shot center and is currently holding a face-off winning percentage of 50%. Through 18 games he has 4 goals and 7 assists for 11 points and is a plus 7. Broussard has an expiring contract with a cap hit of $825,000. i am thinking at this point that the Flyers will be sellers at the deadline, but they are still technically in the mix if they can put a run together. If they do end up selling, I would definitely look at Broussard. He's had a strong season to this point, and we know Ken Holland has made efforts to bring him in in the past. His first summer here, the Oilers tried to sign him, but lost out to the Islanders and ended up bringing in Riley Shahan. With his strong numbers and a cheap cap hit, he could end up being a great fit for the Oilers. For the trade, I would offer up Edmonton's 2023 fourth round draft pick. Next up, left shot D. My selection is Jacob Chikrin of the Arizona Coyotes. Currently playing in Arizona's top pairing on the left side, Chikrin would be a massive addition for the Oilers. According to Elliot Friedman, Arizona is testing the market for Chikrin and the asking price will be high but so is the potential return. Friedman also notes that the Oilers are in on Chikrin. Through 26 games, he has 2 goals and 5 assists for 7 points, but is a minus 29. I think we can contribute that, though, to being on an awful Arizona team and always playing against other teams' top players. Last year, for instance, Chikrin finished with 18 goals and 23 assists for 41 points and finished the season with a minus 6. And keep in mind, that was for just 56 games. At just 23 years old, Chikrin wouldn't be a rental, but could be an oiler for many years to come. Chikrin has three years remaining on his contract after this at a cap hit of $4.6 million, a fantastic value deal. Obviously, it's a bit of a long shot that the Oilers could acquire Chikrin, but he's definitely my target if the Oilers are going for it. For the trade, I would do the following. To Edmonton, Jacob Chikrin. To Arizona, Edmonton's 2023 first round draft pick, Edmonton's 2023 third round draft pick, Tyson Berry, Philip Broberg, and Tyler Benson. Tyson Berry is the big money piece that goes to Arizona to make the money work for the Oilers, and he's certainly a useful piece for the Coyotes. Philip Broberg is a young prospect and a replacement for Chikrin, and Tyler Benson is a prospect the Coyotes could take a flyer on. The Coyotes are a team that could afford to give Benson more opportunity. And of course, next year's first and third round pick will sweeten the deal for the Coyotes. Lastly, in goal. A name you've heard me mention many times, Marc-Andre Fleury of the Chicago Blackhawks. If the Oilers are looking to upgrade, I just don't see a better solution out there. You guys have heard me talk about Fleury tons. He's coming off a Vesna Trophy season, he's turning it around in Chicago, and most important of all, He's a proven Stanley Cup champion, multiple times. I know it's not a sure thing that he gets dealt, mostly for family reasons, but if he's willing to move from Chicago, the Oilers need to be all over it. Through 19 games, Fleury is coming in with a goals against average of 2.85 and a save percentage of 913. He also already has two shutouts on the season. Fleury has a cap hit of 7 million, so it will be tight, but he's also on an expiring contract so the Oilers aren't tied to Fleury for years to come. Here's my trade on how I would do it. To Edmonton, Marc-Andre Fleury. To Chicago, Edmonton's 2022 first-round draft pick, Miko Koskinen, Kyle Turris, and Slater Cuckoo. This trade would completely cover off Fleury's cap hit. It gives Chicago a first-round draft pick, two expiring contracts that will be off their books at season's end, and a useful depth defenseman signed to a cheap cap hit for next season. Here's a look at the lineup with my changes. I would have a top line of Warren Fogle, Connor McDavid, and Jesse Pugliarvi. 
a second line of Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Leon Dreisaitl, and Zach Hyman, a third line of Ryan McLeod, Derek Brassard, and Kyler Yamamoto, and a fourth line of Devin Shore, Derek Ryan, and Zach Cassian. Brendan Perlini and Colton Sevier would be my extra forwards. On defense, Darnell Nurse and Evan Bouchard, Jacob Chikrin and Cody Cece, Duncan Keith and Chris Russell, and Marcus Niemelainen would be my seventh defenseman. And in goal, Marc-Andre Fleury and Mike Smith, with Skinner as an option if they decide to carry three goaltenders. I would still like to add one more top nine forward into the mix, but that could end up being Dylan Holloway, depending on how things go with his recovery. As I said earlier, I'll do an update on this closer to the trade deadline if circumstances change. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. I'll see you guys later today for the Fanatic Rundown. Take care, guys.